Welcome back to our stomach series everyone. In today's video, we will explore the artery and supply of the stomach. And without wasting any more time, let us dive right in. The stomach receives blood through a rich network of arteries. These arteries ensure that the stomach's tissues receive the oxygen and the nutrients to function effectively. The primary arteries supplying the stomach are the branches of the celiac trunk. So this is the celiac trunk and this trunk is a major artery that arises from the ventral portion of the abdominal aorta just below the diaphragm. It quickly divides into three main branches, the left gastric artery, the splenic artery and the common hepatic artery. The left gastric artery is the smallest one of the all three main branches. It ascends to the esophagus and then descends along the lesser curvature of the stomach. Along its course, it gives off some esophageal branches and uh, which supplies the upper part of the stomach. I mean the cardiac end of the stomach. Then we have the common hepatic artery. It gives rise to two main branches. One is hepatic artery proper which continues to the liver and the second one is the gastrojudinal artery which supplies the stomach and the duodenal. So gastrojudinal artery. The right gastric artery typically arises from the hepatic artery proper and then it runs along the lesser curvature of the stomach where it anastomoses with the left gastric artery. So here is the anastomosis between the right and the left gastric artery. So the lesser curvature is supplied by the left gastric artery in the upper part which is a branch of the celiac trunk and on the lower part it is supplied by the right gastric artery which is a branch of the hepatic artery proper. We saw that the hepatic artery is divided into the hepatic artery proper and the gastroduodenal artery. Now, the gastroduodenal artery further divides into the right gastroomental artery, which supplies the stomach and the omentum, so gastroomental artery, and the superior pancreaticoduodenal artery, which supplies the pancreas and the duodenum, the pancreaticoduodenal artery. The right gastromental artery, a branch of the gastrodiodenal artery, runs along the greater curvature of the stomach and anastomosis with the left gastromental artery, about which we'll talk about a little bit later. Now this artery, I mean the right gastromental artery, it supplies the lower part of the greater curvature. Now, and it has another name that is right gastroepiploic artery. I mean the right gastromental artery is also known as the right gastroepiploic artery. Now the third main branch, the splenic artery. The splenic artery runs on the back of the stomach as you can see. So this is the back side of the stomach and you can see it is running behind the stomach and also along the top of the pancreas towards the spleen. So on the back side of the stomach you can see the highly tortuous splenic artery here which runs along the upper border of the pancreas and it enters into the spleen. Along its way, it gives off several branches, like the posterior gastric artery, which supplies the posterior surface of the stomach. And then, here at this end, the splenic artery also gives off the short gastric artery, which exits at the hilum of the spleen through the gastrosplenic ligament, which is attached from the stomach to the spleen. The short gastric artery runs along this ligament and supplies the fundus of the stomach. And now if we hide the spleen, we will also see that the splenic artery also gives off another branch that is the left gastromental artery. It supplies the greater curvature of the stomach and anastomosis with the right gastromental artery on the lower part. So from the splenic artery, we have the posterior gastric artery, which supplies the posterior surface of the stomach, then the short gastric artery, which supplies the fundus of the stomach, and lastly, the left gastromental artery, which supplies the upper part of the greater curvature. The, the left gastromental artery here is also known as the left gastroepiploic artery. In summary, the lesser curvature of the stomach is supplied by the left and the right gastric artery, which are the branches of the celiac trunk and the hepatic artery proper. The greater curvature is supplied by the left and the right gastromental artery, aka the left and right gastroepiploic artery, 
which are the branches of the splenic artery and the gastroduodenal artery. And also, the cardiac end of the stomach is supplied by the esophageal branches of the left gastric artery, and the fundus is supplied by the short gastric artery coming from the splenic artery. So now we saw how these branches ultimately are coming from the celiac trunk. So as a whole, the stomach is supplied by the branches of the celiac trunk. So there you have it, the complete arterial supply of the stomach. This network ensures that every part of the stomach gets the blood that uh, it needs to perform its vital functions. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos in our stomach series. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comment section below. See you in our next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.